Welcome back to day 5 of Shall We Games Games to Quarantine 2. Every day for the foreseeable future, I'm gonna recommend some games that I think you should be playing during quarantine. Some will be free, some will be paid, some will give you a speeding ticket. Just pay it, it isn't worth a trip to court. I love the Need for Speed franchise. I've been playing these games since I was a child, and sure, you know there have been some missteps here and there in the franchise, but it happens. I had a second mind to recommend either Criterion's Need for Speed Most Wanted Reboot Remaster or 2015's Need for Speed. But ultimately I landed on Need for Speed Payback. I would have recommended Heat but I haven't played that one yet. Payback was an interesting experiment as far as I was concerned. It had a decent-ish storyline where you followed three different characters as their stories interweave and interconnected with each other. While not as good as say Need for Speed Underground or Most Wanted storyline, it was still interesting. As for the gameplay, Need for Speed Payback was really good. Swapping between characters gave you access to different styles of play, a ton of quests, unlockables, and just really solid arcade style recent, which Need for Speed has been come known for. I am recommending this because it is an interesting take on racing storylines in general, and it has really great handling. Most of the cars, upgrades, and cosmetics are still here like in all Need for Speed games. Need for Speed Payback is available on Origin for $39.99. I am recommending the PS2 Xbox era burnout games. This is where my love for this franchise was born. One of the best, most insane driving experiences I've had in a video game. The rush of ramming right into a car as it flips over in slow motion, getting taken out by an enemy in a very cool um, crash sequence. The game not only looked pretty, but it allowed you to destroy it as much or as little as you wanted in the world. I just love seeing how ridiculous of a crash I was able to get out of this. The developers really knew how to make a fun and engaging racer, especially when the core selling point of the game was just destroying as much as you wanted. The crash cams were a nice feature and it also had a game built around the mechanic to the point where it always felt satisfying to play. Just get a copy, I don't condone where you get it from. Just is wood play okay so this one is more of a trial demo kind of game but this game was so amazing i can't not recommend it to anyone willing to listen this is a fantastic outrun inspired 80s arcade racer available for mobile devices and pc this game is fantastic one of the best races i've played on mobile devices a bright captivating art style draws you in with a thumping synth based soundtrack that i have been playing on the loudest possible way i could have i have played and replayed this the few stages over and over and over again. This is by far one of the way, way fun game. I can't stress that enough. I wholeheartedly recommend that you play this game. Horizon Chase is available for mobile devices and PC. And well, that closes out our list for today. What do you all think about today's recommendations? Do you all like it? Have you been playing any of these? What do you think? Feel free to sound off in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily recommendations.